Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to show you how you can download the artifacts that get generated from a Maven build in GitHub Actions. So I just got finished adding a cache to my Maven build so I don't have to download the dependencies every time from Maven Central. That should speed my builds up significantly. But what I don't have right now is any ability to download the jar, war, ear files, zip files that get created during my Maven build. So the way you do that, there's a couple of things that you need to do. Now, first of all, when this Maven build runs, it creates a subfolder with all of my jar files inside of it. The first thing I need to do is actually just, I'm gonna create a folder and copy all of the resources that are created in this Maven build file into that folder. So I'll make a directory called staging and I'm gonna copy all of the jar files that are in the target directory into that staging folder, not staging A, just staging folder. Okay, so that's the first step. Just copy all of those files into this staging folder that's gonna put them all in a nice little spot. And then finally, I'm going to add a new step. I'm going to name this step persist workflow as artifacts. There it is there. This is going to use the special GitHub action called upload artifacts. So there we go. And it's going to use it with a couple of properties. First of all, the upload that gets created, I'm just going to name it GitHub actions artifact. And there we go right there. And furthermore, what am I gonna upload? Well, I'm gonna upload everything that I copied into that staging folder. And so let me put that right there. Copy all of that into staging. And you can see, once again, I copied all of the jar files from the target directory that were built by the Maven package command, the Maven build command. Copy them all into the staging folder. Now I'm taking everything that's in that staging folder and I'm gonna make it available in a zip file that can be downloaded named GitHub Actions Artifact. Okay, well, I think that looks good. Sometimes my spacing is off, so I like to just double check. I'm gonna start the commit. I'm gonna call this uh, Persist Artifacts. Commit the changes. Now I'm always worried that I've messed up on my YAML file, but it looks good right there. I'm gonna head over into the actions. It should be building this, and there we see persist artifacts. It's queued up. Looks like it's processed the YAML file, so maybe there aren't any hiccups in the actual process. And now it's just going through the steps, doing the basic setup, doing the build, setting up the cache, and now finally, going through and persisting all of the workflow artifacts. So it looks like all of that was finished. Now, where are they? Where did they go? Well, I'm gonna hit click on persist artifacts. I'm gonna click on this run here. And you're gonna see in the description of the run, well, I can go and take a look at the, the information about the build over here, but there's also this heading called artifacts. And notice there's this GitHub actions artifact. That's the name that I used in the with section of the upload artifacts uses case. I'm gonna click on this. It will download GitHub Actions. I'm gonna show that in my folder. Bring that folder over here. Here's the GitHub Actions. I'm gonna right click on that and extract it. There we go, extracted into its own folder. There's the GitHub Actions artifact. And you can see right in there, that's the jar file that was created. And that's the jar file that is specified in the palm file of my Maven project. And now that's on my local machine. I can use it, I can run it, I can do whatever I want with it. And there you go. That's how you can actually make artifacts downloadable, the stuff that you generate from Maven, downloadable from GitHub Actions. And there you go, that's how easy it is to download your jar, war, ear, zip files, whatever you generated from your Maven build from GitHub Actions. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, head over to theserverside.com. We got lots of great tutorials over there, all about Git, GitHub, DevOps, continuous integration, Java, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.